And we put on the whole armor of uh, the king so that we could stand and fight against the enemy. The weapons they may form, but won't succeed. We already declare the victory. Let the redeem of the Lord tell their story. By his grace, we are walking testimonies. For thine is the kingdom and the glory. And we pray your name for heaven because you're holy. Yeah. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Minister Ari, ask Minister Ari, you saying, and I'm back with another video, how's it going? So, today, this video is pretty much touching bases on a video that I made earlier this year. Earlier this year, I made a video that said, he is not like me and God is not like me. And I want to reiterate on that because I want to emphasize the fact that God is not like me and God is not like you and me. God is not like you and I okay god doesn't have our flaws god don't judge how we judge god don't judge by what we know as people because god weighs out the hearts of every man and every matter god is the king of all kings you understand so god don't judge how we judge that's why it says in the bible to kind of mind your business as it pertains to people relationships because you don't know what a person might cry out to god for at night you really don't know what a person is going to through period that's why it says in the bible to pray for your enemies because although you are mad at your enemies although you don't know you know why your enemies choose to be your enemies god knows why and god knows their heart so if god says to pray for your enemies that's because god knows the matter of all things he searched out the matters of all things god is not like you and me god is not like me god is a good god he is good and he is able it says that he is able and just to forgive it says in his word actually that he raises the sun on the just and the unjust he raises the sun on the witch he raises the sun on the president he raises the sun on a christian he raises the sun on the muslim he raises the sun on the buddhist he raises his son on a baptist god raises the sun on everybody all things are done by his will. All things are done according to his perfect plan. It was already written. It's already everything. No, There's nothing new under the sun. The sun permits nothing new, meaning that God knows all. God knows whatever situation that you might find yourself judging or whatever situation that you might find yourself in personally where you feel like somebody can judge you. God is not like us. God don't judge off of your actions. God don't judge off of what you did last night. God don't judge off of who you killed last summer. God don't judge off of none of that stuff. God is not like me and God is good. The enemy is the enemy. God is God, period, point blank. It says in the word of the Lord, if God is with you, who could be We may not all consider ourselves Christian. We may not all consider ourselves children of God. However the case may be, God governs all that happens underneath the firmament of the heavens. God judges all of that stuff. It has nothing to do with men. At the end of the day, men don't have anything to do with what the Lord has already established. Before the foundations of the earth, it says heaven and earth will pass away and his word shall remain. So I just want to emphasize the fact that God don't judge how you and me judge. God don't see people how you and me see people. God judges the matters of the heart. Amen. God is not like you and me. God is not like me and God is love. God is literally love. What you don't, God, the, 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 it says the love of the Lord surpasses all, all understanding. So what you may not understand, trust me, God does. God knows everything. God has his hand in every matter, even when you can't see it. Everything is ordained by God. Nothing is by a coincidence. Nothing is. It, 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 things do happen by luck. Things do happen by not accident. And so I want you to know that God is not like me and that God is love. And God loves you at your best, just like he loves you at your worst. And I know that because God loved me at my best and God loved me at my worst. God is not like me. That's all I want to say. I, wanna, I don't want to keep going long. What's your girl, Mr. Ari? Ask Mr. Ari, you stand remember? He's got a big for you. Yeah. <laughs>